Welcome back to Her Atlas, your one-way ticket to the Japanese countryside. Today, I am so excited because we are spending 24 hours in Fukuoka. Now, Fukuoka is known for their ancient temples, but they also have amazing shopping and wild nightlife. We didn't get to do everything we wanted, but we did take a nice bite out of Kyushu's biggest city. Speaking of eating, Fukuoka is definitely where you want to be if you love ramen. It's even nicknamed the land of tonkotsu ramen. Now if you're ready, let's jump right into it. So our first stop here in Fukuoka is Nanzo In Temple. We're actually here to see the laying down or what do they call it? The reclining? Le leaning? Leaning Buddha. Um, there's actually 88 different Buddhist shrines and temples on this little mountainside and you can actually make a pilgrimage here if you'd like um, but we're going to take you guys to see the big Buddha first. Right behind me is the giant Buddha that is laying down. It is so, so beautiful. It's actually only 180 years old, which to me doesn't seem that old in comparison as to many things that are here. And it's truly massive. It's actually about the same size as the Statue of Liberty. And yeah, it's pretty grand. It might be a little hard to see, but you'll notice a very colorful rope that is going from his hand all the way down to the shrine right here. Um, so what you can actually do is you can make an offering and then pray to the Buddha and then actually touch the rope that's going to his hand. In a way, it's a form of like shaking his hand and um, hoping that your prayer and your wishes will come true. Don't forget to collect your Goshuin and your Goshuin Cho, which is a book of seals, to commemorate your pilgrimage. As I mentioned before, there are 88 shrines and Buddhist temples here on the grounds. So if you're planning to visit the big giant Buddha, definitely allot yourself enough time to do some exploring. It's a really great way to be out in nature and away from the city. We just finished exploring the grounds. We were there for about an hour and a half. I think you could easily spend more time there or less depending on how many photos you take like we do. And a good portion of it you can't take photos or um, videos of because they're like sacred grounds. But we're headed downtown to go try to check into our hotel. It's about a 20 minute drive. Fukuoka is a huge city, so it can be really overwhelming trying to pick what area you want to stay in. And if I could recommend something just based off of the 24 hours that we spent there, I would recommend the Hakata Ward. So that's kind of the neighborhood area we were in. And the hotel we stayed at is called The Lively. This is not sponsored or anything like that. We paid for it ourselves. It was really nice and everything was walkable. The bathroom gave us airplane bathroom vibes, but overall it was a really nice stay and it was only $65 for the night. Our hotel was about a 12 minute walk to Canal City, which is perfect because that's where I'm taking you guys next. If you do any type of research on Fukuoka and things to do, Canal City Hakata is always going to hit top of the list. This is a large shopping and entertainment complex. It's called the city within the city. It has numerous attractions, including shops, cafes, restaurants, a theater, game center, cinemas, two hotels, and a canal, which runs through the complex. They even have a pretty well-produced water show. Okay. 
I hope that all of this shopping has really worked up your appetite because I'm taking you guys to dinner. We're headed to the fifth floor of Canal City to Ramen Stadium. Ramen Stadium is famous in Fukuoka because it features eight different ramen stalls. That way you could try ramen from all over Japan. You can eat your way up to Sapporo if you wanted to. Fukuoka's nickname is Land of Tonkotsu Ramen, so if you're in Fukuoka, you might as well try to focus on Hakata style or Kurume style. It is said that Tonkotsu Ramen broth actually originated here in Fukuoka Prefecture. If you don't know what Tonkotsu Ramen is, it is pork bone broth that has been simmering for quite a long time. The flavor is kind of hard to describe, but is very forward in a bone marrow flavor. We thought that it was really good, nice and light on the flavor, and they do like to focus on thinner noodles. We just finished up at Canal City, and now we're just walking over to Yatai Street. It's where they have all these little, how would you describe them? They used to be like food street carts, but now they're like stationary places you can eat. So they only serve a few people at a time. So we're kind of full. Not sure if we're gonna actually get any food, but we're gonna go check it out and look at it because it's supposed to be really unique to this area. And it's literally right across the street. So that is Canal City. And then you just cross one of the bridges and you just walk to right here. These open air food stands are called yatai, and they are a very unique and famous symbol of Fukuoka's food scene. They are standalone restaurants where you can get grilled chicken skewers, hot pot, ramen, and alcohol with friends. We decided to not eat at one of them because we still have a lot of anxiety about crowded places, but let's move on to the next day. morning you guys it is day two we're actually just going to spend a half day here in Fukuoka before heading home um, but I really wanted to visit two different shrines that we didn't get a chance to yesterday so the first one we're at this morning is called Kushida Jinja Shrine I hope I'm saying that right um, but people will visit this shrine for um, longevity in life and youth Kushida Shrine's history dates back to as early as 757. It was established here because Hakata was a flourishing port city at the time, welcoming relationships between mainland China and Korea. And to this day, Fukuoka remains a very big port city on the northern shore of Kyushu. Wow, I have never seen one of these before in person. This is a large stationary festival float and the proper name is a Kazari Yamakasa. Now this is used at a very famous summer festival here in Hakata called Hakata Jian Yamakasa. This specific Kazari Yamakasa is decorated with images of samurai warriors related to the area and scenes from Japanese fairy tales and anime. Now be sure if you're in the city center to visit Kushida Shrine. It's the spiritual center of Fukuoka. We finished up at that shrine and it is so beautiful. And now it's just a nine minute walk to Tochoji Temple, which is a Buddhist temple. There's a really big, beautiful pagoda there, which we're going to see. And what's been really nice is that our hotel location has been really, really wonderful that we've been able to walk everywhere. Tochoji is the oldest Shingon temple in Japan, making it an important attraction in Fukuoka city for both tourists and religious visitors. The big red five-story pagoda 
Gojunoto was actually built in 2011 to commemorate the 1200th anniversary of the temple. Inside the pagoda are stored some beautiful paintings, which sadly aren't on display for the public. So on the grounds here, there's actually a really, really big great Buddha.、Um, we can't take pictures or anything inside. And underneath it, there is a Hells to Heaven like, like art installation that you can walk through underneath it. So if you do come visit, make sure you go and do that. Seeing as Fukuoka is the land of ramen, we cannot leave the city without heading to Ichiran. Ichiran is one of Fukuoka's most authentic Hakata style ramen shops, and it's really easy to navigate, but don't expect to have a very social experience here. This is an authentic ramen dining experience. You're going to order via vending machine, and then you'll be able to customize your ramen at your seat. You're not really going to interact with any of the employees, and it's a very isolating experience, but it's really about getting in and out with a delicious hot meal. Hakata style ramen features a rich pork based broth with juicy pork slices and thin noodles. And Ichiran serves up a hearty, delicious bowl without any fuss. I'm really trying not to be dramatic, but this was truly one of the best bowls of ramen I've ever had. Before you leave Fukuoka, make sure you try Ichiran. Okay, you guys, I think that's gonna wrap up one day in Fukuoka. Make sure you like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for the next one. Sijamata!